All right, the Scott Stisser again. Let's do a uh, a micro dot adult midge. I have a 2487 size 16 hooking device, and I'm attaching my six aught Danville pre wax thread. Come back and leave a little area where I'm gonna finish the uh, thorax and other work up front. And then uh, tie in my, I'm going to build my body this time with a, a stem, a strip stem, a hackle from a grizzly hackle. Now, if you notice, um, I have left some fibers. I cut this, the strip part, and left a little bit of stripping at the front with the feathers still on. That's because that'll help build up a little bulk in this body. Give me a, the taper that I want to see. Like so. And now we'll go ahead and wrap our body. And I do a lot of various different materials for the body. I just think this is a nice looking material. I don't know that we've done this in any of the previous videos. Um, however, with uh, with a quill body like this, and because this fly is going to take a little bit of time to tie, um, some various working parts to it, we're going to go ahead and um, put some UV glue over some thin UV um, goo over this section to protect this quill from the trout's teeth. Okay, we're back. Uh, we've now coated that with a real thin clear glue. Uh, no need to show that on the, on the video. Um, but now what we're going to do is I'm tying in the wings and these wings are made of uh, pulled back fibers of, of Coq de Leon and I uh, uh, use Dave's Flexment to, to um, keep them in the shape that I want and so let's see how we can do this okay so we want them to come back and we want them to be a little bit on the side of the hook like so just yeah that's perfect Okay, and then we want another one on the other side to match. In length, catch that one too, like so. Oop. I didn't make a turn. I thought I made a turn there, so let me do one, one more. Okay, get a couple turns in there. Okay. Um, you want these to be equal in length. I see that I, I have the back one out a little bit, so I'm going to pull it in just a little bit. Um, there we go. And now I have the two wings in at the same length. Okay, now I've, as you notice, I've trimmed the... Uh, the stuff I didn't want off the wings in the back. I'm gonna go ahead and trim the front of the wings off. And now I'm ready to put on my post. This is gonna be a parachute pattern. And the post and the uh, name of the fly, this is furry foam, uh, McFly foam. Uh, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a post out of it. And this is going to end up being why the fly is called a micro dot. Okay, so now I have my, my post for my hackle that's going to go on in a, in a bit after I build my thorax. And um, we'll take care of that next. Okay, next we're just going to tie on our hackle. This is going to become our parachute hackle. So get that in place. Um, like so. Tie it in good. 
clip that off. And then we're going to have a black thorax, black dub thorax. Put a little uh, super fine black dubbing on here. And let's uh, dub that on. And then let's go ahead and get our thorax in there. Like so. And now we're ready to post the hackle. All right, some of the last steps of the fly. I'm gonna go ahead, oh, I forgot to say I'm using a ginger badger hackle. But I'm gonna go ahead and start turning it around my post, like so. And I don't wanna overdo it. I want a little bit of support. I also don't want it to over, be out of balance. I just changed place with my thread, let that hang, changed place with my thread and my hackle so that now I can come up and put a couple wraps and take that hackle off and clip it. Okay, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my whip finish on this baby. Okie dokie. Now I've got that done, I'll go in and clip a couple of the extra hackles in the, in the thread off. Alright, fly's almost finished. Here's the magic. I'm going to pull up tight on this furry foam, uh, McFly foam, and I'm going to cut pretty short. And you're going to see what's happened. It's going to drop and make a little dot on the top of the fly and that pulled down over the hackle holds the hackle in place so it won't come off and that little dot's pretty hidden from the underside of the fly so the fish can't see it but you can and um, see if we can keep this in focus while I twist this and there you go you can see the the micro dot that sits on top of that fly so that this fly is sitting real low in the water like an adult midge um, and then you can pay attention to that green dot, and when it disappears, set the hook, baby. Alright, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.